Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel and this first look video at Say Intentions, an AI powered fully dynamic ATC program for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Before we delve into the video, I'd like to mention that Say Intentions is now IFR capable with multiplayer support and SimBrief integration. Let's take a look at the full feature list. It is important to mention that Say Intentions is still in beta, however rapid development is bringing a lot of features to this nifty little program in quick succession. The feature as of today is full VFR capability, multiplayer support, tour guide, fluent in 9 languages, over 88,000 airports worldwide are covered, exceptions, emergencies and of course IFR capability. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at the Say Intentions program interface and I'm going to show you how to set it up and set up your first IFR flight. Say Intentions does not require any um, connectors or any external program to run. It's a standalone application and as you can see the interface is quite simple. You can see here Vueling 6263, that's our flight today and the current airport is detected automatically with all the available frequencies, tower, ATIS, tour guide, ground clearance center approach and the CTAF frequency here at this airport. You can see that MSFS and ATC are both showing green, meaning that we are connected to the simulator and ATC services are available. You can also see the COM1 and COM2 frequencies as well as the transponder. From the bottom of the user interface, we're going to click on settings in order to set up the program and our first IFR flight. From the main general settings window, you're going to enter the email and password used to sign up for the Say Intentions account. Select the ATC speech, in my case it's English the United States, but you have a selection of nine languages to choose from. If you are doing an IFR flight, then your SimBrief user name is required. As you can see, I have added here Q8 Pilot. You can click here on the button to create a flight if you haven't already done so. I have already created a flight today to Barcelona, so we are going to skip this step. Next, we're going to go to the Identity tab. From the Identity tab, we are going to enter the aircraft tail number and we are going to also enter the long and short call signs. In my case, since we are doing an IFR flight, both the long and short call signs are Vueling 6263, which is our flight today to Barcelona. From the audio devices, you are going to select both the input and output device. For the input device, as you can see, I have selected my microphone, the Wavelength Stream, and the output device is the speakers Razer Nomo Pro. You will need a push to transmit button in order to contact ATC. The TCA yoke uh, Boeing is what I have for the flight yoke and so I've programmed a button uh, for the PTT. All you need to do is click on this little button here and then press on the button that you want to assign. Multiplayer is uh, again something you can disable. It says CAD only, CAD and multiplayer and this will allow you to hear the ATC from other players uh, that are on the same frequency. Experimental features is something that I have not really um, attempted to test at this point so I will leave this for another video. We are now ready to start using say intentions. What I'm going to do now is power up the aircraft and I'll be back with you shortly when we are ready to request our IFR clearance from tower. Before we begin our IFR clearance, we are going to request the ATIS information. The ATIS frequency is 127.88. Right, let's switch 12788 to the active. 1.9055 advise on initial contact you have information Foxtrot. Euro Airport information Foxtrot. 1400 Zulu. Wind tree 20 at 7. Visibility 10. All right, so we have information Foxtrot and we are now ready to request the IFR clearance for our flight. 
The first thing we're going to do is we are going to tune in the clearance delivery frequency, which is one to one decimal niner five five. We're going to switch the frequency of clearance delivery to the active. We are now ready to request our IFR clearance. Clearance delivery. Good morning. Welling 6263 with information Foxtrot request IFR clearance to Barcelona. Ruling 6263, Basil Mulhouse clearance, information Foxtrot is correct. Clear to the Joseph Teradellis, Barcelona, El Prat Aerodrome. After departure, fly radar vectors to SOSOL then as filed. Climb and maintain flight level 70. Expect flight level 330 10 minutes after departure. Departure on 130 decimal 9, squawk tree 521. Let's read back the clearance information. Clear to Barcelona Airport, fly radar vector to Sausal, then as filed, climb and maintain 7000, expect flight level 330 10 minutes after departure, departure frequency 130 decimal niner, squawk 3521, falling 6263. Fueling 6263, read back correct. Expect runway tree tree, contact ground on 121 decimal 605. Expect runway 33, ground on 121 decimal 605, Welling 6263. We have now completed the IFR clearance and I'm amazed at how realistic the ATC sounds. Not only that, but the phraseology is actually very accurate as well. The aircraft is all set up and we are now ready for push and start. So we're going to contact ground and request push and start. We're going to grab the ground frequency, which is 121.605. All right, we're going to set the ground frequency to the active frequency, and we are now ready to request the push and start. Ground, Vueling 6263, request push and start. Vueling 6263, Euro Airport, Basel, Mulhouse, Freiburg, ground push. And start approved, expect runway tree tree for departure. Contact tower on 118 decimal tree when ready for departure. All the conversation between myself and ATC is logged here. Let's go ahead and confirm the push and start. Push and start approved. Expect runway 334 departure. Contact tower on 118 decimal three when ready for departure. Fueling 6263. All right, we are ready to go. We're gonna turn on our beacon lights on. We now have clearance to start our engines, engine mode selector to start, and we're going to start engine number two. Proceeding straight to cargo terminal via Sierra Airbus 450 Alpha Bravo. All right, we are now ready to go. Both engines started and the ground equipment is clear. You've also heard the chatter in the background just now. We're waiting for the hand signal. We have set up the altitude to the initial altitude cleared by ATC, which is 7,000. We are squawking 3521, which is the squawk uh, given by ATC. We'll put this on the flight plan and we'll put this on the performance. And we are ready. So we are going to turn on the taxi lights. And now we're going to need to request a taxi clearance. Ground Welling 6263, request taxi IFR. Welling 6263, taxi to holding decimal. Runway tree tree via Alpha Bravo Charlie. Hold short of runway tree tree. Contact tower on 118 decimal tree when ready for departure. Taxi to holding point runway 33 via Alpha Bravo Charlie. Hold short of runway 33. Contact tower on 118 decimal three when ready for departure, Welling 6263. All right, so as you can see, pretty simple. If you are not yet familiar with the phraseology, you can simply read back to ATC from what you see here, but it's a lot nicer if you had another screen and just move this to the other screen and so that it's not in the way. So far, so good. Phraseology is spot on and we are cleared to taxi via Alpha Bravo Charlie, 
to runway 33. All right, let's release the parking brake and let's go. All right, here's the right turn for taxiway Bravo. Bravo taxi to runway 09 via taxiways Golf and Foxtrot. Taxiing to runway 09 via Golf and Foxtrot Airbus 450 Alpha Bravo. Again, very immersive as uh, we taxi and hear the ATC chatter uh, and the background. Cessna 908, Charlie Echo hold short of taxiway Foxtrot traffic crossing ahead. Charlie All right, and we are at Taxiway Charlie. We can see that runway 33 is to our right. We're going to make the turn and hold short and contact tower. All right, cabin is ready. Let's go ahead and switch to tower. The tower frequency is 124.105. All right, tower frequency is set, and we're gonna switch it to the active. Tower of Welling 6263, holding short runway 33, ready for takeoff. Wheeling 6263, Euro Airport, Basel Mulhouse, Freiburg Tower. Runway 33, line up and wait. Line up and wait, Welling 6263. All right, we have been instructed to line up and wait. We'll wait for ATC to clear us. 6263, winds 319 at 7. Runway 33, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, Wellic 6263. All right, we've been cleared for takeoff. V1, rotate. Positive rate of climb, gears going up. Viewing 6263, contact departure on 130 decimal niner. Departure on 130 decimal niner, Vueling 6263, good day. Well, folks, this brings us to the conclusion of our first look video at Say Intentions, the AI-powered dynamic ATC program for Microsoft Flight Sim. If you're interested in more videos on Say Intentions, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and be sure to like this video. If you have any questions, as usual, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.